Hey, Pastor Bib from Holy Cross Lutheran Church in St. Cloud here again with another daily devotion and uh, following along with the readings from the CPH Everyday Faith Calendar for the month of April. If you go to Google and just search CPH Everyday Faith Calendar, this should be the first thing that comes up. It comes from a blog entry uh, from Concordia Publishing House. You can download that uh, for free, print it off at home. Uh, and then have that as there's a little scripture reading there each day, uh, and then a recommendation of what to do on your own or with your family as part of a devotional routine. Now, to the reading. Today's reading is from Matthew chapter 12, verse 40, but I'm going to read some surrounding verses just to give us a little extra context. There's some good stuff here. Then some of the scribes and Pharisees answered Jesus, saying, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. But Jesus answered them, An evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For just as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Now, what was going on here is what happened uh, quite a few times throughout Jesus' ministry, as we have it recorded there in the Gospels, that people came to him and they wanted some sort of big flashy sign for him to prove that he was the Son of God, as if his teaching and miracles were not enough. And you know, we can kind of look at that on this side of history and go, well, my goodness, why didn't they understand that he is who, who he said he was? He cast out demons, he cured diseases, he raised people from the dead. He himself later on dies on the cross and then is raised three days later. How can they not believe that he is the Son of God? Well, this is the nature of unbelief. And honestly, this desire of the people to see from God some big flashy spectacle, that hasn't changed. Because if we're honest with ourselves, we too ask for the same things from God. And there are plenty of preachers today, especially prosperity preachers, that will come along and tell you exactly what you want to hear. Sadly, there are many preachers nowadays that they want to scratch those itching ears. And so they tell you, God wants you to be rich and blessed and to have all these wonderful things, health, wealth, and prosperity. But what we learn from our reading today is that, well, as Jesus says, an evil and, a, evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. And then he goes on to talk about how just as Jonah was three days, three days and three nights in the great fish, so then the Son of Man, that is Jesus, he will die, and on the third day then be, ra be raised from the dead. Now, here's the thing, folks. Uh, proof of God's love is not seen by our circumstances around us. Uh, you cannot measure God's love by how much food you have on your table, how many clothes you have in your closet, how much money's in your bank account, how big your garage or house is, how many cars you have, all your toys, all of that, blah, blah, blah. Now, these are all blessings from the Lord, and we ought to give thanks to God for them. They're what we call first article gifts uh, that the Lord gives to us. But if you really want to see proof of God's love for you, well then folks, you need not look any farther than the cross. Because there on the cross, Jesus dies for your sins. God loves you such, God loves you in this way, that he sent his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You see, the sign and proof of God's love for us is Jesus. Jesus dying and rising and ascending for you. You see, dear friends in Christ, it's easy for us to want to, well, fear, love, and trust in this world and our life in this world more than the God who created our lives and put us in this world. May we repent of this, and then may we rejoice that this one true God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, out of love, that is, out of commitment to you, came and gave himself completely, fully on the cross for you. In the death and resurrection of Jesus, you have all things. You have eternal life. You have salvation. You have victory over sin, death, and the devil. It's God's free gift to you. And so this sign of Jonah, this being dead and buried and then on the third day raised, this here is the ultimate sign that Jesus is exactly who he says he is your Lord, your Savior, your hope, your salvation. Rest in that, dear friends in Christ, and rejoice that Jesus is the Son of the living God,
who is for you, your Savior, your Lord, your prophet, priest, and king. He's the one who's done all things well for you. God be praised.